Child, I don't know what's going to happen first. Jesus coming back or Cardi B album dropping. Hey y'all, welcome back to It Girl Uncensored. It's your girl Cecily, the pop culture It Girl. And I'm back with another video and it's my birthday. So go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. That is my birthday gift, y'all. If y'all want to give me something, like and subscribe to the channel. It's free. It doesn't cost y'all anything. You see I'm a growing channel. Help a sister out. I'm trying to grow too like the rest of the grass. What's up? Let's go ahead and get into this video. Cardi B pushed her album back, you guys. She says 2025 will be her year. Child, I feel like every year since 2020 has been her year. I love Cardi. I do. And I do understand she's going through a lot right now. For real. Like, I feel like the other years was some bullshit. But... This year, it's really taking a toll on her because she's actually going through her divorce. It looks like she's going through with this divorce. Um, and she just had another baby. And it's, you know, life is life in for her. However, I don't think coming out with her album next year is the move. I mean, who the hell am I, right? You know? However, my unsolicited opinion, I really think that Cardi really should have just ended 2024 with an album. All of the girls dropped this year. And I feel like she really could have rounded that out. But maybe she wants 2025. I feel like if she come out with an album next year, then everybody's already dropped. So unless the girls are coming back immediately, she would be the only one, for the most part, dropping. And I really would like to have seen her end the year like with her. Everybody had a good, Lotto had a nice year. Megan had a cool year. Glorilla is having a phenomenal year. And I really think that it would be nice for Cardi to go ahead and end the year with a bang. But then again, it's like, do we want her to drop right now in this winter? Or do we want to wait for springtime so we can have some club bangers? But I really don't think it matters when. I mean, it depends on what she's dropping. But I don't know. I just really want her to just drop today. Like, at the end. But, you know, Cardi says she's been outside a lot. She says she has been outside a lot. Okay? And, um, you know, that's what happens when you're single. And she's trying to figure it out. She said, it was so funny. I was watching her. She was on live and she was like, listen, when you outside and you in the club and you drink it and that liquor hits you to the point where you're just like, ooh, I ain't got no hoe. I'm hopeless. Like, I hate that because like that liquor feeling you right. And you start thinking about everything. The liquor going to even hit you like, oh, I'm about to make a phone call. Or the liquor hit you just like. Oh, I can't make a phone call because I ain't got nobody to call. Like, it's like one of those situations. So, I understand. Offset in Paris fighting and, and shit, you know, high kicking people. I'm not even about to get into that. But she seems like she's really going through with this divorce. And it has to be tough because she is seems like she's serious this time. And despite what we all may say or think, she should have been left him or she knew what she was getting into. That's still the father of her three children. And we can clearly see that she wanted it to work and she really loved him. So a breakup, no matter how much we think is needed, is still hurtful. And she's still going to feel the effects of that. So, um, but at the same time, this is the time for her to pour her stuff into her work. Pour your stuff into that album. This album, I feel like it's going to be amazing. I really feel like if she would have been dropped, she would have been on her third, fourth album at this point. I do think that Cardi has been nervous and scared to drop and scared of failure. But I'm here to say, Cardi, you're not going to top the number that you did when you debuted it. And that's not me saying that you can't do it. Because who in the f*** am I to say that you can't do it? But I'm just saying realistically, with the times, the way that, you know, the music industry, the industry period changes all the time. So... With how things is going in the industry now, most more than likely not to do the same numbers that you did with Invasion of Privacy that dropped in 2017 so long ago. However, that doesn't mean you're not going to be doing big numbers though. You did astronomical numbers back then. So even if you don't meet that height, you're still going to meet a height. I still think that she's probably going to outsell all of the girls. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about Nikki. We have to see. That's the that's the debate. And here's the thing. If she would have dropped her sophomore album and it didn't do well, she ha could have had time to redeem herself and drop another album. We just want to hear music from her. Now, she has been nominated for a Grammy for um, Enough. That was surprising to me. I'm not going to hold you up. I'm actually shocked that um that got nominated. And Megan Thee Stallion didn't get any nominations. I'm going to do another video about that. Like, 
that was interesting. His didn't get nothing, but enough did. And don't get me wrong, enough is my shit. Me versus you, and you know who they picking. Cheap and expensive, you know in the difference. You know that it's hitting. You know what it's giving. Hair, nails, polar, bear. Like, I, that's my shit. So, I am happy for it. But at the same time, I'm just like, I was actually shocked that that actually got a nomination. And a lot of, some some of the girls didn't get nominated. But, all in all, that just goes to show, like, Cardi, there's, we still waiting. Now, we are tired if you keep pushing the album back. We are very tired. We're going to be ready for it whenever you do push it, but... Girl, just come on. Like, we ready. She said 2025 is her year, though. She's dropping an album. She got some business adventures that she's not telling us about. So, I really think that a Cardi B, I want to see her do other things. Like, a talk show with Cardi B would be funny. A reality show or her Cardi on the road would be hilarious. Like, I feel like we're going to see more of Cardi B on TV. And that's more of her. She's a personality. She started off on Instagram. Um, she did say that she's, now some people think she's not passionate about music because she doesn't drop often. She said that just because she doesn't drop her album in a while, that doesn't mean she's not passionate about it. But I do think that, I, I hope Cardi B, no matter what this album does, I hope that she is in a place where she can take criticism because she is bad with that. Like, I, girl, everybody is not going to like you. Everybody is not going to say anything nice about you. So that doesn't mean you need to go on these rants and cussing everybody out. Even like these hip hop publications or, you know, blog, a podcast or anything. They're not going to always be a fan of what you're doing. And you spass out on the fans all the time. And it's just like, girl, to the point where people don't even want to post you anymore. And it's like, you can't, you have too much love for you to be focused on the hate. You have way more love than hate. And because you focus more on the hate, that's where the energy is going to lie. And that's what is going to be the biggest focal point. You crashing out because you didn't like something that somebody said. And it's just like, you love Beyonce, right? Then take the Beyonce approach and ignore it. Or how about not crash out so much about it? You don't need to focus on that. Everybody not going to like everything you did. Okay? So... That's my unsolicited, unsolicited advice. I mean, nobody, who the fuck am I? <laughs> see, see, that's who? Because period. Face on glass. I went to the spa, y'all. I went to the spa today for my birthday. And Detroit's, I'm in Detroit. Detroit Soak Spa was everything. And they got me together. And they had a facial glass. Because period. Anyways. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm excited. I'm still going to be here for Cardi. I'm still going to be here for what she drops. And I'm ready for some club bangers. You know, Cardi B, her music is always giving me hype. I be hype at work. And so... I'm ready, you know, just hopefully, like, now, now when we getting it in 2025, at the top of the year, in the middle, or the end. Because she said 2025, baby, she ain't tell us when. I think she should drop, you know, within the next month, in 2024 with a bang. However, she want to start off fresh. She says she needs to stop being outside, so we got to let her get this out, because she's actually going through a divorce this time for real, it seems like. So... Let's see what happens, and uh, I wish her the best, and hey, what y'all think? Tell me what y'all think in the comments. Are y'all still excited for Cardi B album? Are you over it? Do you think, you know, she should come out, or do you think she should just keep it? You know, um, let's see what happens. It's your girl, Cecily, the pop culture it girl, and thank you for watching it girl uncensored. Like and subscribe to the channel, and I am out.